The Leo Frigo Bridge continues to sink, dipping another quarter of an inch over the weekend. Good evening, everyone. The Department of Transportation says this sinking may be caused by the weather or perhaps work in the area. This latest problem comes on top of investigators still trying to figure out why the support pilings corroded and sank in the first place. Tonight, Fox 11's Kelly Schlicht has more on what has happened and what may happen yet this week to try to protect the weakened part of the bridge. The DOT says the Leo Frigo Bridge sinking about a quarter of an inch this weekend could be due to recent rainfall. But we suspect it's both the work that we did around Pier 22, then over the weekend we had quite a bit of rain that saturated the ground. And since that soil had been dug up and disturbed and put back down, may still be a little loose and that may have contributed. Despite the bridge sinking farther, the DOT says there is still no danger of the bridge collapsing. Kim Rudat with the DOT says the department will continue with its plan to install stabilization towers like these next to Pier 22. There will be one stabilization tower on each side of Pier 22, about 55 feet away. The Department of Transportation says a contractor should be on site by Thursday to install those stabilization towers. But the DOT is also finishing up its investigation into the conditions of the groundwater and soil. We're doing soil borings at all 30 piers on the west side of the river. We're also digging 11 uh, monitoring wells to monitor the groundwater. Rudat says he expects those studies to be done by later this week with a full report on soil and groundwater conditions to follow. In Green Bay, Kelly Schlicht, Fox 11 News. Inspectors have found corrosion on four of the piers, 21, 22, also 23 and 25. But no repair schedule has been formed, nor has there been any determination of how many tens of millions of dollars the repairs would cost.